trust me? If I told you, then it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> you think you're funny? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I picked up cake up from the airport just a couple days ago, and since then, we've realized some important things. I feel like we should start from the top. So, you guys are probably wondering, like, what happened after Noah picked me up from the airport, which is where we kind of left off that last vlog. So, basically, he picked me up, and it was awesome. We got to talk. But also, we had a disagreement, which was kind of taking us back to, like, why we ended things in the first place. In, the, like, the first 30 minutes of being in the same car, we were, like, already back to, like, it was annoying. Yeah, really annoying. And I think, for one, like, the time we took apart was great for growing ourselves and, like, mentally and, like, time with God and really revealing where God wants us in the next season. But also, I feel like for our relationship, we couldn't grow in our relationship and fix the problems that really need to be fixed if we were not together, like, actively working on it and having God in the center of our relationship. Like, that was just, like, something that we need to work on. So we realized if we want this to work, like, we have to fight through it and fight together and one of the things they came up with was going back to the beginning just getting a very firm foundation and starting as friends again obviously we're still going to be exclusive to each other and loyal and like no one's going around talking to other species <laughs> Spe species <laughs> <laughs> But we really want to just like work on our foundation and make sure God is truly the center of our relationship and like really learn each other from the inside out. And I feel like a lot of relationships don't take the time to do that. And then 10 years down the road, they're getting divorced. And obviously we don't believe in divorce and we really want to make sure our foundation is so firm that like nothing can separate us, even like to the point that like a break or whatever, that's not even on the table. Cause we always said we hated breaks. Like that was not for us. And we obviously realized that, but we, still want to take a step back and really figure out all those little like kinks that we have in our relationship to really make it stronger. So to be clear though, like I agree with all of that and we came to that agreement together, which was really special because it's like we both want the best for this relationship. And when she says that we don't believe in breaks, it's not that we don't believe in time apart. Our version of a break though, isn't like you no longer have any ties to the other person you're talking to. You no longer are accountable to them. You no longer have to be loyal. You no longer have to tell them like when something happens, like if somebody is like trying to slide in your DMs or is hitting you up because I'm sure they're gonna go like well you guys took a break you said you don't believe in breaks well and also like a lot of people are like you guys didn't take a real break you contacted each other like the thing is is like this is our relationship like we don't have malice towards each other we're not angry at each other like during the break like we did this to grow ourselves and that's like one thing I learned is all breaks are different like some people have to take breaks because the other person cheated and they needed that time off to really focus on themselves and grow themselves and realize like if they were meant to be or not but like our situation was a bit different like we still love each other so much that we were willing to step away to better ourselves to come back together better every relationship every human being is all different and all breaks are going to look different and for sure the thing is it wasn't a break meant for social media so it's like we don't have to fit that role yeah. you know what i mean like this wasn't like oh no communication don't talk to each other like you have to do this because you said you went on socials like it was more like us letting you know like where we're at because you guys have been a part of the story this far and throughout us stepping back from each other like i feel like we should tell them what our break was in case like they feel like they'll ever need that kind of break for us it wasn't that we were upset at each other it wasn't like somebody cheated or something serious like that or that we like we're just on bad terms because there was all this bad drama no it's like actually the reason why we took a break was really minuscule right that's the word I would say it was actually really important. It's I wouldn't really say it was important, minuscule. but our fights were really like stupid. Like, yeah, our fights. Like, there was a deeper root, but on the surface, they were like really stupid. And if we told anyone, they'd be like, "Why did you take a break because of that?" But we don't want any of that in our relationship. Period. Yeah. Like at all. Like we want to just be the bestest of friends. Like, you know. I think that sometimes you can get into relationships and like you start to use the romantic stuff as the the sweetener for the areas of the relationship that haven't fully developed. And so what we kind of realized was like, when you strip back that romantic stuff, you're forced to focus on the relationship. Like you're forced to focus on the actual friendship of the relationship. And ultimately, you know, Jacob is the most pretty girl in the world. 
right? And I'm the most, no, I'm just screwed. But like, <laughs> He's the most handsome <laughs> no. boy in the world. No, He's but, a pretty boy. <laughs> I was saying that to say, like one day, we won't be able to rely on looks and on like a relationship that like makes out like heavy and stuff. And I hope that that's always that. a part of our relationship. I hope it is. You don't but, know that. You know, you when we're know shriveled why. up and we're raisins and stuff, I still want to look at I might be you. the hottest grandma you've ever seen. You don't know that. <laughs> you could be the hottest grandma I've ever seen. Like, dang. Yeah. Like, I can see you with your bob. I can see it. Oh, get it, girl. I can't wait to see you bald. Anyway, <laughs> I'll look the exact same because I always wear hats. No, but your grandma, uh, your grandpa is really handsome, so I know you you have those jeans. Frick you, yeah, you know what I mean? my grandpa's still jacked too. So I feel like for us, it was important that we didn't utilize things like making out or like snuggling or like you know all the romantic stuff that you do in a relationship as like a cover for having a lack of friendship at our foundation. And so what we decided to do is to strip all that back. And not to say that we're just being friends because we're way more than friends. We're loyal to each other. We're in a committed relationship. You still pray at night. Like I think that was one of my biggest questions. And like, you guys know on our break, he did pray at night. Like I made that very clear. And everyone was like, that's not a break. But this is our relationship and that's what was us keeping God in the center of our relationship. Yeah, always. yeah, yeah. We, we told each other we weren't gonna have communication with each other just because we wanted to focus on ourselves. We broke the rules a couple times, but one of the ways that we did that was like the necessary ways. Like I would send her a video message, a voice message of me praying so that she would have my prayer at the end of the night. So that she knew I was still praying for her and praying for her family and stuff like that. And she did little things like that to remind me as well, like make me cards that I could go look at. And that was really cool, but it also gave us the space yeah. to like really look at ourselves and say, okay, well, where can I grow in this time? How can I be the mature person that the other person is looking for me to be? so that we can be in a better relationship, you know? Yeah. And I feel like we both agree that the core of our relationship, the friendship level, still needs a little bit of time to develop and to really become all that it could be. Like, we love each other, but I feel like there's still areas that we don't know about each other. And as we were sitting down talking in the car the other day, after all this like time apart, I started realizing like, there's things about her that I don't know. Like things that make her tick, things that make her happy, things that make her sad. The one like joke that makes her laugh every time. And there are those things about me too. And so I was doing my devos and I was journaling and I had this idea that maybe the best thing for us to do is to start over and to take back all the romantic stuff, all the kissing, all that, all the holding hands even. We haven't even really, we haven't held hands ever since we decided we we're gonna do this. <laughs> so the idea behind where we're at in our relationship right now was to romantically strip back all those things that like we can use to kind of like smooth over the areas that are underdeveloped, like our communication or like our friendship and to like really focus on those areas to build them up. To clarify, this is not a long term thing. This is just a moment in our relationship where we can focus on building this part of who we are. And we wanted to bring you guys on that journey. So after I got that idea, I felt like in the middle of like me doing these devos, God gave me the idea to have a day set apart for each one of us to like actually get to know the other person. Instead of me explaining it to you all right here in a boring way, why don't I show you? K-Cup, I don't think you know exactly who I am as a friend. I think you understand me completely as a boyfriend, but not as a best friend. You know I know you. I think I, I think you know me to an extent, How but much percent? I would say like 90%. 97. Okay, fine, 97. Today is about that 3%. So what I've done today is I've planned an entire day where she's gonna have the opportunity to get to know me and all my favorite things. Literally, we're gonna go from favorite thing don't to favorite tell me, thing. Don't tell me I wanted to be a surprise. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna like run her down a list of favorite things all day today. And you're gonna get to discover by the end of today who I really am and who I, what I really like, what really makes my heart go excited and like what really makes me like come alive, what I look for, what I'm like all pumped about. And I'm thinking like, as we do this, we're gonna find areas that like we haven't seen before in our relationship where we really overlap. And like, we're gonna get to explore those and have fun with it. And like, we're gonna become even better friends than we've ever been. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so our adventure starts out front. You wanna see? Yeah. Come on. I literally planned an entire day to this. That was what I felt like I was supposed to do in my devotional. Like, I was like, we need to plan a day for us to like get to know each other. So I'm planning the first day. And I'm planning the second day. Right. And then we're gonna do two off camera too, just for us. But this is gonna be fun. I'm excited. I put oh, some, all right, all right, here we go. You're talking too much. You're talking too much. Here's the deal, here's the deal. When we go out there, the first thing is right there, okay? One of the things that I love maybe more than anything else in this world is cars. Me too. I love cars. Me too. Okay. Okay, so we're taking a fun little ride today. Let's go. Yay! And you can't fight the tears that ain't coming All the moment, the truth in your lies Whenever 
everything feels like the movies Yeah, you bleed just to know you're alive Where are we going? What? Where are we going? I mean, if I told you then it wouldn't be a surprise Okay, how about a hit? Okay, your hint is that like cars and old school things By the way, do you like this? Like what? Like old school cars, they're like yeah. one of my favorite things And I think it's like drizzling a little and I love it. I love rain and I've been begging Noah to like have a rain day with me I'm so for so long and it's finally raining on our day and like usually that's depressing but I am so excited. What's crazy to me is if you can find the joy in rain, rain is actually one of the best things. Yeah. No, some of our favorite days have been our rainy days like doing nothing in the rain or like dancing in the rain or whatever it was. It was so fun. Yeah. And I've been waiting for this day for so long and of course it comes today. What's crazy is it wasn't supposed to rain on the schedule, like... Yeah, I know, I looked. That's why I got this car for us, so that we could like, you know, drive with the top down. It's all good though, I'm excited for it. Me so too. I'm taking you somewhere that like, you've been before, but like, I just need you to know how much I enjoy it. That's like a really big thing for me, you know? Like if this was my day by myself, this is exactly what I'd be doing. I'd be taking some fun car, to exactly where I'm going and getting exactly what I'm getting there. Cause like that's what I do. Oh, she's piecing it together. Oh yeah, no. I'm actually not. I'm actually not. Really? Well I would say tinkies, but I don't think we're going there. Dang it! Oh, is that right? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. See, maybe I do know you more than you think I do. Why do you ask for hints and then wreck every surprise? Don't act like you're stupid. I said it on the phone yesterday. I said I bet we're going to tinkies. And he's just like, you'll have to see. Well, that's because like, I love that place. It's like a fun little restaurant on the water. I love the fact that like, you overlook what is like a beautiful view. And that's not all, there's more to it. So let's just cut to that shot, okay? Let's go. I'll see you at Tiki's. This is one of my favorite spots because I genuinely love, like, you're gonna freak, okay? I've been here. I, okay, well, obviously. No, it's but... acting like this is our first day ever. I've been here like a hundred times with you, oh Noah. I know, but you need to know how much I love this place. I'm afraid to ask this question, but I need to ask it because, you know, it's the only way that this really makes sense is our favorite place. Our favorite place now. What I love about this restaurant is oh, yeah. the tater tots. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, and the seasoning on the tater tots Yes, goes so in the name of Wait research. A so we're allowed to eat tater tots in the name today? of In the name of research, we're eating Guys, tater tots Guys, he's eating today. so healthy and he's boring now. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's another one of my favorite things. The food dance. That's what I'm talking about. He's feeding me, finally. Okay, so you have to sit by the water when you come here because water is literally everything to me, okay? So we're gonna go find a table by the water, come on. It's just something you don't know about me. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. Oh my god. While we're sitting here, let me tell you some of my favorite things, okay? So obviously I love this view. I love water, right? But like also, I'm a really big fan of food. A huge fan of food. Like everybody has their vice. My vice is definitely food. I know. What is my favorite food in the world? Me. <laughs> I think I think my favorite food. No, wait, let me okay, guess. Okay, go, go ahead, go ahead. Like food, not dessert? Like, we'll do food and then food or dessert. Your favorite food is a medium rare yummy steak. I actually think that if I could only have one food for the rest of my life, you might be right. Yeah, I know I'm right. From where though? The age. Oh man, or, so close. Or, or um, our Almost other got spot. It. Oh, Almost the place got in Disney Springs? It. Yeah. Yeah, the place in Disney Springs. So but like, good. But like we get the age a little bit more. A little bit more. They have better like sides and stuff like that. Yeah. Let me ask you some questions because like today is all about getting to know me. Let me ask you a couple questions. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Do you believe that soulmates and who you're supposed to marry can be different? That's a crazy question. No. You think they're the same thing? Yeah. Because why would God do that to us? That's how I think of it. I think of it in a biblical sense. Like Adam and Eve, like they described it as like they both have a rib of each other. So I really truly think that God 
made it so there's only that one person so you never question or waver like there will be other people that are a distraction but there will always be that like one person that you are meant for i think the same thing i didn't used to think that way i, I used to be really practical and like almost cynical about it like yeah. i used to think to myself like okay you know there are better and worse options when it comes to marriage like you can pick any person and make that the person that like you're meant for but then i remembered like once you make someone that person like you can't outsmart god like you, god yeah. always knew that that was going to be the person yeah. so it's like although i still believe in the practical side of things i feel like there's a the the more like you know lofty side of things that like you know like your soulmate and your forever person are meant to be the same thing if the bible says you're only supposed to marry one person then they have to be the same thing and i would love to think that my rib is in you <laughs> that That's thought makes you happy yes why that's really cool yeah <laughs> That's no. a really thoughtful thought. He doesn't thought. not agree with that. Okay. I think that's really cool. I do too. You should think about it. how my rib is in you. Of one rib. My new album. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs>there's a third fork for you back home and if this video gets 13,000 likes everyone is getting a piece of red fish sent to their front door wow wow i really want that <laughs> so okay these are the tater tots right here right best tater tots in the world in my opinion no with a teriyaki sauce that's the thing though is this isn't your day this is my day so you got to take a tater tot right cheers it. this is almost cheers it you gotta go a little bit of ranch no Isn't that so good? Now her favorite thing is the teriyaki sauce. I would say one of the best combinations is if you do both. So you gotta go I taught you ranch. That. Don't act like you're taught me that. But it's kind of it's kind of like metaphorical, you know what I mean? Like think about it. I'm like the ranch, and you're like the teriyaki sauce. And when you put them together, this makes sense. even better. Just makes sense. You like it? Of course. Look at this view. This is what it's all about. You got good food, a nice breeze, beautiful view, and just like no agenda. I freaking love it. That's a fun day. Okay, we have more to do though, so we have to eat. Let's eat. I have like this really fun thing to ask you. And I was gonna ask it off camera, but then I was like, it's so good, I'm gonna ask her on camera. What is your favorite animal? What do you think my favorite animal is? Rory or Pippi. It can be just like a pretty- A furry cow. A furry cow. Okay, tell me the three qualities of like why that's your favorite animal. They're cute. Cute. They're snuggly. Snuggly. And they're cute. And cute. I can't really talk on their personality. I mean, they taste good. How about like not recent? <laughs> <laughs> they taste good? I only really like it because of what it looks like and not... I mean, I like the sound they make. <laughs> Yo. Did I fail at this? <laughs> no, you did Are you didn't. trying to like relate this to you? Well, they say the three characteristics of the reason you like your favorite animal are this also the three main characteristics that you look for in your significant other. Oh, so like if I were to say, that's why you were wanting me to say corduroy and pippy. Well, no, that, I just assumed that's where you'd go. So crazy. No, you said cute, no, no, cuddly. No, no, no. And, I'm, I'm just grabbing Rory. And no, and tastes good. Those are, those are your three. No, I'm just grabbing Rory. Crazy, psycho, cute when his hair is done. Oh shit, cute when his yeah, hair. just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. My favorite animal, like if I could have any animal in the world, it would probably be a monkey. I love monkeys too, but they do kill. Yeah, so that's obviously why I would never get a monkey, right? Yeah. But like the reason I love monkeys is because number one, they're super intelligent. Wow. Right? Number wow. two, they're super funny. You know what like I mean? Me. You know what I mean? Like they, they are always doing something stupid. Like well, if you like look stupid, up, stupid, dumb. But like no, like really sophisticated, like clever, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen like monkeys at the at the zoo like ask people for food, and then like run back or like pull a tiger's tail and then run away. And then uh, three, I think the reason I love monkeys is I love that they're so social. You know what I mean? Couldn't be me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's. So I wanted to take you to this dock, right? Because this is obviously dock 27, but something we don't do enough is live a little on the edge. Like something that I love to do- Is come out here during the lightning storm. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what I like to do No, too. you see that over there? Yeah. That's white 
wash rain. It looks like, honestly, you know what it looks like? The ocean. You cannot see the other side of the lake and it's coming right at us. This is my day and this is what I'd pick. We either play your guitar, go back to your car, or we jump off the end of the stock when that rain comes. Oh my God. So I need you to decide. <laughs> Is that scary? Uh, yes, <laughs> because there's gators. There is gators, and there's a little bit of lightning. So I need you to make that call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is crazy. I, I can't believe the timing of this. I was just taking you down to this dock to play you a song. I've got my guitar right over there. Let's do it. Um, Let's sing the song. You're gonna get that song, but you know what else you're gonna get? You're gonna get to experience what I love the most, which is being like, Adventurous. Okay. Okay. You trust me? This is the stuff that I hope you learn about me. This is the stuff that I hope you fall in love with with me. It's not about how good your hair looks. I know. I know. Okay, let's do it. See the wind coming in? You feel that? It's getting really close. All right, here it comes. Holy crap, here it comes, here it comes. I'm setting up the camera. How about the dance man? Come on, mate, let's go. You always go the wrong way. I always think you're gonna go for that. You always go for that. Come over here. All right, ready? Let's go. I want to get here for a second. Put your feet down. No. <laughs> Put your feet down in the water, Jacob. Do it right now. No, no, no. 100%. You can do it. My foot is How could you ditch me? How could you ditch me? You just. <laughs> She's trying to kiss me right now? No. Oh my gosh, Jacob. <laughs> Romantic. <laughs> okay, 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 I'll walk you back to the dock. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you later, big girl. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my god. You did me. No, I went first. <laughs> What's the heck? I, I lost my hat. I'm I lost the ring and I lost my ring. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I need to go back in for this no. thing. No, no, no. I'll get it, I'll get it. You know how I'm gonna get your ring? Oh my <laughs> gosh, guys, look at my dress. <laughs> <laughs> look how pretty that is. Come here, give me a hug. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> pretty fun, right? Okay, now you have to do like that. Why are you trying to drag yourself off? No, that's what you Okay, okay, hold on, let me do it. Shout out to Take Up because she actually went through this. Not at all. No, no, that's our love story. That's what I want it to be. Listen, every romantic movie is going to have the guy who like jumps in with a girl. Only ours, I jump in by myself. <laughs> I'm being a true gentleman. That's what I was being. Hopefully the audio on this is okay. Okay, let's head back to the car before it's like, you know. Love you so much. Oh my God. What'd you just say? No. 
I don't even have the camera. I wasn't even planning on filming this part, but what'd you just say? Go ahead. I said, I'm gonna cry. Why? Because that was so fun. And I love so much. I love you too, Kiko. She said that was one of the funnest moments in our relationship ever. And she almost didn't even <laughs> jump in. <laughs> she kind of left me hanging just for a second. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go back to the house. Come on.